Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's France and they take on Australia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two. But for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And they kick off here. Mercado. Will France be a hit or a miss? What do I mean by that? Well, when they won in 1998, everything was rosy in the camp, but they were dumped out in the group stage in 2002. They were runners-up in 2006, and then they completely imploded in South Africa in 2010. How about this time as holders? Well, they've got some great players. They've got an experienced coach. I think they've got good team spirit, so I think they're better prepared this time. I think they've got every chance, first of all, getting through this group, but also going on and winning the tournament. And he read it well defensively. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Mitchell Duke. Moy. Well, no stopping him. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Tempele. No worries for the keeper. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. It did look on for them, but not to be. And in with a real chance. Jamie McLaren. Duke and with that the attack fizzles out
Griezmann. Jules Koundé on the ball. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Chance for Dembele. He's got it found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well great read there to intercept radio well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half promising move this from france but timely defending when it mattered. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Riley McGree. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mbappe. And he's in. Oh, denied by the post. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. The first half here comes to an end. Well, Usman Dembele stamped his authority on the first half. What did you make of his performance? And the game begins. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Good move in the making from France. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Corner kick played in. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Mitchell Duke. It's Jamie McLaren. Just the challenge that was required. A bit of running room now on the wing. Oh, surely! And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. <laughs> Playing it in. And the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Really good interception. And France pushing forward with options available. Superb block.
McLaren. He's in here. He must finish. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Coman. Dembele's in the centre. Coman ball's gone and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation Well, the free kick had just a bit too much height on it. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought that was going in. It's only a whisker away. Good win. Devlin. Based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And the yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Superb block. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Great vision from Adrian Rabio. Real chance. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ten minutes to go then. On the attack in the closing phase. McLaren. And he keeps going. Oh, it's a penalty. How about that? And at this late stage, too, an opportunity for them to level matters. And it's also going to be a booking. Well, he's absolutely right. It's a penalty and a yellow card.
Chance to equalise here. Ball is loose. Front over for now, it seems. And just five minutes remaining. It's looking promising. And he clears the danger. Coman. Mbappe. Mbappe! And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And the final whistle has sounded. A victory here for France. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.